city. No. Hmm. This summer, that summer, not this summer, that summer. Hmm. Village oh, Minson Sissa. What is English? That was weird. I was like, Sissa, Sissa. Okay. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my July TBR. I have a total of six books. I probably honestly will not get them done. I know you guys are probably like, what is she talking about? She read 22 books the past like three months. But I start full-time work this week, so reading is not going to be a thing, except after work, which is probably when I'm going to be napping. So, you know, napping over reading 100%. Probably over ambitious TBR, but without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book I actually started in June. So I'm pretty much done with it. The book is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Mortal Instruments series. I don't really want to give a synopsis because it's the second book in a series. But I'm 372 pages in. I'm loving it. I'm so glad that I started this series. I do not know why I put it off for so long. I do know why. It's because the books are humongous and they terrify me. They go by pretty fast, except this one has taken me like five days to read and usually I read a book in two days, so it's like really weird to me that I'm still reading this book. Very excited to read the rest of the series. I have them all, so... We're gonna get to it eventually. I'm actually gonna complete a series that I said I was gonna complete in my 2016 series thing. So I'm very proud of myself. Good job, Jan. Good job. Thank you, Jan. You're welcome, Jan. The second book that I'm hoping to complete for July is actually a book that is part of the Booktube Tours. If you don't know, the Booktube Tours is a thing that is run by Grace over at Loving Dumb Books, and basically, booktubers are given books in exchange for their honest review, and we basically have to post a video about the book and promoting it and what we thought of it. So it's a lot of fun. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the links down below, and definitely become a host if you want, because it's super duper fun. And the book is There Once Were Stars by Melanie McFarlane. This book follows Natalia, and she lives in Dome 1618, which has protected the general population from radiation outside the dome for the past four generations. It's run by the Order, and Natalia has never questioned the Order at all until she sees somebody outside the dome and she starts questioning everything she thought she knew. It just sounds super interesting. I'm very excited to read it. I'm going to have a full review for this book up on July 25th, so if you want to see my full thoughts on this lovely book, then I will see you on this channel on July 25th. Okay. The third book I'm hoping to get to is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. I figured after two books that are kind of like darker, I would want something cute and fluffy. So this is my like break book I'm calling. This book follows a girl named Haven and everything in her life is changing and it's very overwhelming for her. And then her sister's ex-boyfriend shows up and she realizes that change might be a good thing. I've never read a Sarah Dessen book. I own like eight of them. Why I've never read one of them? I don't know. They're super short so I don't see why I haven't. But that is my plan. I'm going to read my first ever Sarah Dessen book and hopefully I actually like it. Because I have so many other ones so... If I don't like it, that's going to be awkward. The fourth book I'm hoping to pick up is the third book in the Mortal Instruments series, and that is City of Glass. Again, not going to give a synopsis because it's the third in the series, so it's even more spoilers if I tried. I just want to get through the whole series, so it's going to happen. Probably not in the month of July, but we're going to get through the third book, hopefully. The fifth book I'm hoping to get to is Everybody Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I have heard such amazing things about this book. Everybody seems to love it. It's about a girl named Emmy and she is entrusted with her brother's apartment building for the summer and he has one condition. She has to have something exciting happen there. Emmy and her friend Charlotte end up finding this like secret letter from an old movie star and they go off on this adventure and that's all I really know about it. I know there's some kind of like love in there so I'm thinking it's going to be another break book for me, a cute romance hopefully. I'm sure there's going to be deeper topics but I'm very excited because everyone says it's such an amazing book. The final book that I'm hoping to get to for the month of July is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is like the tie-in from the Mortal Instruments. It's the Infernal Devices series, the first book. I was told I was supposed to read the first three Mortal Instruments and then this book, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna see how it goes. It's a pretty hefty book, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna make myself enjoy it, even if I don't enjoy it. That's a lie, because don't do that, children. But hopefully I like it, because I also have the two other books in this series, so if I don't like it, it's gonna suck. Alright guys, so that was the six books I'm hoping to read for July. Hopefully I can get it done, we'll see how work goes, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Oh,
turtle the normal book. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a, 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 I'